Okay, so this is my quick review of the Alienware Pro Gaming Keyboard. Uh, I got this at Best Buy and um, let me just show you the box for this right here. This is the box right here for it. Well, got it upside down. So this is it right here, the Alienware Pro Gaming Keyboard. And um, what can I tell you about this? Well, I got this specifically because I was I liked the way it looked, and uh, it was on sale at Best Buy for less than a hundred dollars, I think. And so I was like, okay, I got to get this because I, I never had a mechanical keyboard before, let alone a gaming keyboard. Uh, I did try the K55. I don't have that now. I actually returned it to get this one. Uh, so let me just say right off the bat that if you're someone who's using Linux, uh, you're a Linux user, and you're trying to find a mechanical keyboard that works natively with Linux, you don't have to program any any programs or commands or anything. It just works with Linux. Uh, this one worked with my Cinnamon 2018 um, uh, distro. So if you're looking for a mechanical keyboard that works with Linux, this worked right off the bat with Linux. Uh, the main issue I had was with the macros. Uh, I didn't know if the macros would work with Linux. I heard that some mechanical keyboards, the macros does not work. Uh, these are the macros right here. Um, right here is the macros. Okay, these are the macro keys. Now this has 15 macro keys, just to let you know. 15 means that uh, right now you see one, two, three, four, five, right? But when you press this button up here, it changes color. One, two, three. So it has three um, different colors here because it, it has three of the five uh, macro keys. So that's 15 altogether. Three times five is 15. So um, this is one of the macro keys right here, uh, which is red, green, blue and you would program each of these macros to do something different because that's what macro keys are essentially macro keys is basically you press a button um, you, you record multiple button presses into one key now the cool thing about Linux is that you can actually program each of these keys which is what I have set up to go to a, a certain website which is I, I don't think you could do that with Windows I'm not sure about Mac but basically, if I press 1 here, it'll take me to Indeed.com. Right now, I'm looking for work, so Indeed.com. Uh, 2 will take me to Craigslist. 3 will take me to YouTube. 4 will take me to Google. 1 button will take me to a website automatically on my laptop, PC. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate right now. I'm going to press number 1 on the macros up here for Linux. I'm pressing number 1, and press number 1, and it took me to Indeed. Now, I'm going to press number 2. That's going to take me to Craigslist, and I hope you can see this. I'm going to bring this up to the screen. Actually, let me just zoom out here. So that's the screen up there, right? And watch me press number two. I just pressed number two, and it took me to Craigslist. Oh, actually, that's Trulia. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to press number three now. You see me pressing number three. And number three didn't take me anywhere. <laughs> Hold on. Let me exit out of here. See escape. Actually, let me use my mouse and exit from here. But you get the picture. Basically, this thing, basically, this will take you to different, um, different, let me press number five. Maybe I didn't program those, so that's why it's not doing that. But uh, now, here's the, here's the trick that you guys are probably wondering, and you're like, huh, but how do you program the macros, especially if you're using Linux? This should work, this should work with Windows users, and this should also work with... Um, with uh, Linux users, I don't know about Mac, but it should also work with Mac, I think. So here we go. I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna do it with a different um, macros here. Uh oh, I've just run into this problem. No. Okay, so admittedly, I do have a problem with this um, currently, and the problem is that sometimes it freezes, and it 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 stops working. Uh, so in other words, I right now this is not doing anything like if I type something it nothing shows on the computer um, and I know that it's not working because when I press this here the colors don't change so that's a problem I have with this specific keyboard does that mean you're gonna have that problem with another Alienware keyboard I don't think so um, I think that this it, it might be the Linux operating system I have 
it could be um, the keyboard itself I did put a warranty on this so um, that's just an example how sometimes you know whatever you buy may not work but uh, the simple fix I have for this which is not so simple is I have to remove it from my computer to have to disconnect the USB and then reconnect the USB again to fix that problem um, but uh, yeah it's a bug I've had with this keyboard so far again it could be my computer most likely um, the Linux operating system or it could be but it's it's a recent problem I had I've been using this keyboard for several months now haven't had that problem but now it's shown up so you know word of caution keep your receipt when you buy this thing <laughs> but here we go how do you program the macros okay I'm gonna show you how to program the macros now that I fixed the keyboard uh, here we go so I'm gonna put it to blue here and the way you program the macros is you hold down these two key you hold down any of these keys okay so I'm gonna hold this up here and this here and it's gonna start blinking now watch I'm sure you guys have been wanting to do this forever hold it down like that and now you see that's blinking so when that's blinking you can press any key you want I say like F S F there you go and now it's recorded those two buttons on the number two button okay this does not require anything um, on your computer you don't need to install any software on your computer it could work with Linux it worked with my Linux system um, <clears throat> and the only thing you will need if you have Linux is you're gonna need to um, go on a Windows computer to program the colors and everything okay so that's what I did with this I program the colors and it remembers what you program as far as colors but the macros you can do that without um, installing any software on your Linux or Windows PC huh <sighs> so I've never used a mechanical keyboard before this is my first mechanical keyboard so I cannot compare this with any others um, the K55 also worked on Linux in case you're wondering um, so it's it's the K55 keyboard uh, you can find it at Best Buy. This one's the Alienware Pro keyboard. Uh, the model number for this one, if I'm finding it on the box, is AW768. Um, again, you just saw the bug I had where it froze and it didn't work. Um, that could just be my keyboard. Uh, I don't really care too much about that. If it's a bug that's continuous, I'll just you know use the warranty to fix it. But other than that, um, this keyboard is great. Um, Good solid keyboard I got it on sale so I can't complain and it worked with my Linux operating system with cinnamon 2018 um, and that's my review of this keyboard thank you for watching and take it easy